In the last lesson, we read the book Earth, which is a nonfiction book. Okay, information in a nonfiction book helps readers to learn about a topic or understand what a whole book is about. Today, we're going to read more of the book Earth and discuss what we learn about the planet. Okay. All right, go ahead and open your books to page six and seven, and you're going to follow along as I read. Okay. All the planets in the solar system orbit the sun. The sun's gravity pulls on the planets to keep them in orbit. Earth completes one orbit of the sun in a year. So we are going to start an information about Earth chart. Okay, and the part I just read, I read that all the planets in the solar system orbit around the sun. Okay, so that's what I'm going to add to the chart. <clears throat> what else did you hear about Earth in the part we just read? Zach? Um, I read that um, Earth completes one orbit um, around the sun in a year. Awesome. Earth completes. That the, the sun gravity pulls on the planet to keep them in orbit. Go ahead and turn to pages eight and nine. Okay. Point to the label. This says axis. Okay. The illustration is going to help you understand what you read in the text. I want you to read page eight and nine and think about how that illustration helps you understand what you're reading. Okay. So go ahead and do that now. I'm looking for information that helps me learn about the topic, and these pages seem mostly to be about the way Earth moves. So I learned that Earth moves very fast in its orbit, so I'm going to add that to the chart. What else did you learn about Earth? Zadie? Um, that um, one full spin of Earth is called a day. Yeah. Zachary? Um, Earth um, travels at 66, um, 700 miles. That's 107,000 kilometers per hour. Okay. Go ahead and take your sticky notes and put them on page 13. We're putting our sticky notes there so that we know where to stop reading. So you're going to turn back to page 8 and 9. And you're going to continue reading until the sticky note on page 13. And while you're reading, I want you to make sure that you're reading all of the text, including the labels, and that you're looking up words in the glossary if you need to. What did you read about Earth? Turn to your partner. Um, mm, I, I, I learned, learned, I learned, I learned that um, the um, large amount of Earth allows it to support life. That, and the, um, that water, Earth and has mountains, plains, kingdoms, jungles, <laughs> and de deserts and oh, other things. What did you learn about Earth from the part we just read? Jackson? It has glaciers and jungles and canyons and deserts and plains and mountains. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Lyle? Um, the rest of the Earth's surface is the land. The land how many has many features. There. 
What is something that surprised you that you learned about Earth today? What's something that surprised you? Zachary? Um, the large amount of water on Earth allows it to support life. That surprised me. Zadie? Um, that, um, um, that it spins around very quickly. Why'd that surprise you, Zadie? Well, uh, because I thought it spins slower. Because days are usually long. What else surprised you about Earth? Austin? That surprised me how deserts don't have trees, but they are. Deserts inspired me because it's because it doesn't have trees, but it has cactus, and they and people still can breathe oxygen from that. Anyone else want to share what surprised them about Earth? Okay. All right, second graders, you can go ahead and close your books. In the next lesson, we will read the rest of Earth and discuss what we learned about the topic. Thank you.